in the kitchen with Lucy from Greer's. Lucy, good to see you again. You too, thank as you. As always, thank and you. looks like you've got a lot of my favorite ingredients out here today. <laughs> what are we going to cook? Good. Today we are going to make Posey and Papa's chicken pot pie. Posey and Papa are my grandparents, okay. my mother's parents. Um, my grandfather, Papa, did all the cooking, and Posey did all the baking. Ah. So um, Papa has uh, no longer with us, but Posey is still with us. So today I thought um, that I would make this um, kind of thinking about him recently. All right. Well, that sounds fantastic. I like that idea. So kind of combining the two here because we're cooking and baking. Yes, so we're cooking out. and baking. Yep. He would always put together the filling and she would always make the crust. <laughs> so um, what we are going to start out with is our vegetables. And I'm just using canned vegetables today. If you are a frozen vegetable kind of person, you can definitely use frozen vegetables or fresh vegetables. Um, but this is the way that um, he kind of did it. So this is the way I do it. We have lima beans, one can of those green beans, corn, peas, and carrots, and I just drain those and rinsed them off mm -hmm. really well. And then this is um, something I've never seen in any other chicken pot pie, but he always did it. He boiled a little bit of elbow macaroni, just according to the package instruction, instructions, and then just drain that and put that in there. I like his that style. I do too. That is my, <laughs> um, my favorite part about the chicken pot pie when I was in college, when I would make this for my friends, it's always everybody's favorite part. <laughs> so um, I, I like to add that in there. And he always used to um, serve chili over Elba macaroni, too. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> so is um, that what your college days were like? People were like, hey, let's go over to Lucy's for some chicken pot pie. <laughs> yeah, they, they liked for me to cook for him. I had one friend that um, she would sit at the bar in our kitchen, and she would say, do a cooking show. And I would, <laughs> and I would always do it for her. So um, anyway. Well, that was good practice for what we're doing now. <laughs> it was. Thank you, Leah. Um, now I add Added, um, I cooked three chicken breasts and I just cooked that in the oven. I put a little bit of olive oil on it and salt and pepper, but you could poach it or, of course, use a rotisserie chicken if you had that. So um, it's about four or five cups of chicken. And now I'm going to add one can of cream of celery soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add one can of chicken broth. And the only thing that we're going to season this up with is salt and pepper. And there is, as you mentioned, you're using the canned vegetables. So a lot of cans involved in the process. So this may be one that you could have the ingredients possibly lying up around your mm -hmm. house already. If not, you can always go to Greer's. Yes, and this is inexpensive to make, and it makes a boatload. So you can <laughs> feed a lot of people with this. Um, I have seven cousins. We're all girls. And whenever it was your birthday, you could always pick what you wanted to have, uh -huh. what Papa would make. And the big joke is you could either have chicken pot pie or barbecue chicken. <laughs> but that was fine by me because I always chose chicken pot pie. Um, it's just one of my favorites. So we added... So Papa had to deal with all seven of you girls. <laughs> yes. A lot of us. And um, it, it was always, you know, fun. He would always just make the best food and went over there for every holiday. Um, so I think that's one of the reasons why I like to cook. He would always let me stay in the kitchen with him. He didn't want a lot of people in the kitchen, but uh, I would always kind of sneak, <laughs> sneak to the corner and just watch. <laughs> well, it sounds like he was very special, and this dish looks fantastic. The recipe is online, Studio 10 tab on fox10tv.com. We're going to check back in with Lucy in just mm -hmm. a little while. We're back in the kitchen this morning with Lucy mm -hmm. Greer. It is Wednesday. You always come on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and you never disappoint. <laughs> Thank you. You have a whole pan of stuff right now, <laughs> and what we're making today is chicken pot pie. Mm -hmm. a Southern favorite. It is a southern favorite. And we have already got our filling together right here. We have our chicken, which I just cooked in the oven and shredded up. And then we have all the normal things carrots, peas, My lima beans. <laughs> lima beans. I love some lima beans. <laughs> And um, green beans, and I was mentioning before that this is my grandfather's recipe, and he oh. always puts um, elbow macaroni in there. So we cook that off just like you would any pasta and drain that and put that right in there. And then we used one can of chicken broth, and we used a can of cream of celery and a can of cream of mushroom, salt and pepper. That's it. This is how he made it, so this is how I make it. It's so pretty easy <laughs> as far as the ingredients are concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, 
We're in the second part of this cooking segment, and uh, I think we might be getting a little bit more difficult here <laughs> because I, I see a lot of tools <laughs> over here. Lucy always scares me when she brings out the tools. It's always easy. It's always easy. <laughs> um, this is Posey. That's my grandmother. Papa makes the filling. Posey makes the crust. Okay. Um, so this is her recipe that she shared with me. So what we're going to do first is sift two cups of flour, and this is just all-purpose flour. So so um, I'm just going to put it through here. And then to this, it's just three ingredients. So we have our flour, and then we have three quarters teaspoon of salt. So I'll put that through there. And now you have to tell everybody what the purpose of sifting is, Lucy. Well, as you can see, we had, I mean, not a lot, but a few um, little lumps. And when you sift that, it makes the um, flour a lot lighter and looser, and okay. it's going to help our pastry um, be a little bit flakier and okay. airier. Um, so we did our salt and our flour. And now I'm going to add two-thirds cup of shortening. Okay. Old fashioned. Now I see you've got that split up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is that yep, why? Just like that. Okay. So you cut it into little cubes and kind of push that around and we're going to use our fingers to um, work this in because that's how Posey does it so that's how I'm going to do it. You can use <laughs> like um, a fork, you can use, um, they have tools that you can get for um, for making pastry, so but I'm just gonna use my fingers. So you just get in here and kind of lightly toss it around, and all these pieces are shortening are going to um, break up. And when it kind of looks like coarse meal, which is just meaning little pieces in there amongst the flour, mm -hmm. then we're gonna add our water. Okay. What I have done is just put some ice in a bowl and filled it with water. So we have really cold water. When you're making pastry, you want to try to keep things cold. Um, you'll see a lot of recipes have the, um, if you're going to use butter, you know, you want to kind of put it in the refrigerator, don't let it sit out on the counter to get room temp like you would if you're making cookies. Okay. Um, so I didn't um, have this this Crisco in the refrigerator, but um, we are going to use this yeah, ice water. Soft. So see how that is. So we just have it um, in little pieces. And then we are going to add our water one tablespoon at a time. It's going to take about six or seven tablespoons of water. And sometimes it'll be six, sometimes it'll be seven. It's just something that you kind of just eyeball. Okay. So Posey um, puts you, it around with a fork, so that's how I do it. Do you call her Posey or do you call her Grandma Posey? No, or? we call her Posey. You call her Posey. I like it. Yep. It's pretty cute. My grandfather, um, her name is Rose, and so my grandfather would call her Rosie Posey. Oh, or Rose, that's so or Rose cute. Marie. So <laughs> we call her um, we call her Posey. That's really cute. And of course, <laughs> Lucy's family, uh, Gris has been all around for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Yes, we. Um, um, have been around for a long time. Our company started in 1916, so we celebrated our 98th year this year. Um, That's great. So we, we're all about family, and, and cooking, to me, is is a lot about family. Um, Do you think Posey would let me call her Posey? Oh, yeah. And Posey's <laughs> name is not near as cute as she is. Oh. She is... Um, Posey is my mom's mother, okay. and she is... Well, we'll have to tell her good morning. Hey, Posey. Good she morning, is Posey. watching, I'm sure. She loves to watch, and um, and she loves to bake, and she actually got this recipe from a cookbook that her mother gave her when she got married. So she, um, I love this. this family history, Lucy, <laughs> telling everybody about you guys. And coming up in the next cooking segment, we're going to finish this up. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think we have much left to do. No, all we're going to do is roll this dough out and get it on. There. Okay, perfect. We're going to let Cherish roll this out. We're going to let Cherish put it in the oven. And of course, she gets to do the best part, taste <laughs> it. But hey, I got to say good morning to Posey. So that's, <laughs> that's the best part. We'll be back in a little bit to finish up the chicken pot pie. Lucy Greer from Greer's <laughs> Market and Catering rolling the dough to our yes. chicken pot pie today. 
This is the fun part. This is the fun part. We have already put together our chicken pot pie filling. We cooked three chicken breasts. I just put those in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper, but you could use a rotisserie chicken if you had that or just poach some chicken. So it was about four or five cups. And then we used some canned vegetables and I drained and rinsed them. We have corn, carrots, green beans, lima beans, green peas. My dad hates green peas, but they're my favorite. <laughs> so he can pick through there whenever he comes he over to my house. This <laughs> Not this we're one. We're going to destroy <laughs> this one here at Fox 10. Yes, and then I mentioned that um, this is my grandfather's recipe, and he always did the elbow macaroni in there, and that's usually everybody's favorite part. And it's different. Then, it is different, and, and it's really good in there. And then we put a can of chicken broth in there, and one can of cream of celery soup, and one can of cream of mushroom soup, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And then we mix together our crust. This is um, the posy part of my Papa and Posy chicken pot pie, which those are my grandparents. Aww. And this was our two cups of all purpose flour, mm -hmm. and then we added three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and then we added two thirds a cup of our shortening, mix that together, and then we added a little bit of cold water just to bring the dough together, and then we just roll it out. And we're just gonna put this right on top of the pot pie, and, you know, and the good thing about dough is that even if it's not exactly perfect, you can kinda stretch it okay. to make it fit over there. So you kinda just roll it on top. Oh, you make it look easy. <laughs> And then, you know, if we um, have a little bit that needs a little bit of stretching, then we can do that. And, and just make it fit. Just make it fit. I'll just tear off a little bit right here, you know, put it over here. Putting that puzzle together. Putting it together. And then when you're um, making a pot pie, you want to put a couple holes in the top to let that es that steam escape. So you just do a little bit of this and then this is going to go into the oven for about an hour okay. and at 350 degrees and the crust is going to brown up nicely and you'll be ready to eat. You're making my stomach growl. I don't <laughs> know if you guys heard that but I definitely heard it and felt it. So looking forward to eating this. The recipe is on fox10tv.com mm -hmm. on our Studio 10 page and all the ingredients you use today you can get at Greer's. Yeah, definitely. Check our ads. Today is Wednesday so our website greers.com has all of our specials that come out every Wednesday, so pick your location and see what we have. Lots of good specials going on. Weather's getting cooler. Well, eventually mm -hmm. it will start getting yeah, cooler. It's hopefully. coming soon. And this would be perfect for one of those cool days or nights. Chicken pot pie. Mm.